Okay, now we are gonna talk about the Slam monocular. This is the main program that we have uh, prepared for testing your video sequences, okay? So in order to test uh, this video sequence, we are gonna use the, the, the configuration file, file we have already created before, okay? Remember, we just changed these two elements. And then for testing, we are using uh, the video sequence of Kitty. As you know, if you read the documentation, we have created a data set um, with, the most of the pop with the most popular um, data set uh, videos prepared in a format that makes them easy to compare and transport and process. So if you just click on the link, it will take you to a, um, to a folder here, okay, in which we have Okay, this is the data set. We have um, Tomb, Kitty, and different uh, <clears throat> data sets. In this particular case, we are working with Kitty and with the first uh, sequence of Kitty. So we're gonna download Cam. Uh, we're gonna download the whole the whole uh, folder. Okay. Okay. Uh, to download the folder, just I will download it as a zip file. And here it is already, right here. Here it is. I'm gonna move it to my Yugoslam folder. I'm gonna uncompress it here. Okay, let me explain you a little bit about the data set. Okay, here we have the this data set kitty is recorded with a, a, a car with two cameras on top of the car. So it's a stereo system. So here in CAM0, you have the, uh, the streams of the left camera, and here you have the streams of the right camera. Here are the intrinsic parameters of the left camera, and here you have the intrinsic parameters of the right camera. Uh, in this file, we have set the ground truth for the left camera, and here is the ground truth for the right camera. This is the naming convention we are using all along this uh, data set. You see, for uh, the two data set, we are using the same idea, okay? Ground truth and, uh, okay, for all the data sets that uh, we will have more data sets uh, in the future here uh, to test. And finally, we have here another file, which is a stereo that uh, we will talk about later. For now, let's say we have all the files here and let's go back to the command line, okay? Because now we wanna do we want to follow the structures in here in the documentation, okay? So we want to run our program using as first argument the first video of the left camera, uh, the configuration file, and and we will specify these other two parameters. I will talk about it in a second, okay? So Yugoslam monocular, then let's go. Uh, cam0 dot okay this is the video file second parameter is the configuration file the intrinsic parameters okay now uh, we are running it like here okay like indicated here sorry this was a problem so we are using first the vocabulary the vocabulary is uh, the one we talked before this is for rv because that's the way we are processing it so i'm gonna set the the path to the vocabulary, which is in the third-party vocabularies um, folder, or if you don't have it there for whatever reason, you always can download it from this uh, from this link. Then I'm gonna use the parameter file that we have just modified. Okay, so everything is prepared. So let's let's run it. Remember, we are using this command line. Run. Okay, here it is. Here we have the first view of when we process a video sequence. Um, okay, this is the main graphical user interface that is not using Qt5. So we have created for this project a graphical user interface that is not using even OpenGL, but it will be able to display and um, show 3D maps. So the good thing is that um, it's not going to require OpenGL, so it's going to be very portable. Although, of course, it's not going to be uh, so f as fast as uh, OpenGL. Anyway, uh, this is uh, created using the library SGL, which is part of the library 
okay you can find it here and this is part of the here in basic types this is the library for 3d rendering that is has been created as part of the Yugoslam project so if you need it for a different project please cite Yugoslam project okay so here we go uh, this is the first uh, frame of the video so we are gonna press the key S to start video okay here we go we're gonna stop here okay press S again and it will stop now we see here this is the video file okay and um, in as these dots these colorful dots represent the key points that are being created in the map here we have the map of the system if we press the left uh, key of the mouse we can see that we can move the uh, we can move the map if we press shift and left uh, click the mouse button we can move it and with control if we have it pressing control we can uh, zoom it in and out okay so you can with SGL you can easily create this uh, 3D models, okay, uh, without OpenGL, so it's very portable. Okay, what's the meaning of these points? These are the key points that are being used, okay, and the green one represents a, a stable map point that will be kept in the map for a long time, while red points are these red points here that are temporary key points, sorry, temporary map point that could be removed in the future if they are not consistent, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna press M. When I press M, I change the view mode, okay? And here now it's uh, the image, and here I see the map. So it's quite convenient if I need to see it in a larger view, okay? I will press S again. And I'm gonna let the program run for at least 100 frames, okay? Uh, please consider that we are running in sequential mode, it means Okay, that uh, this is not real-time operation. Our purpose here is just to create a map. Okay, I think it's enough. So now I'm gonna press escape and the program will close, okay? Okay. So what we have here is that uh, it has created, okay, the, pro the, the world.map uh, program, okay, so, uh, sorry, file. This is the file that represents the map that has been created so far, okay? So now we are going to do something else. We are going to run uh, again Yugoslam using the map that has been already created and this time we are going to use the right camera, I mean uh, the other camera of the stereo for uh, updating the map with this information. So if we run it like here, this is what we are doing, okay? This command line. So. We are running again the program, monocular, this time Yugoslam, sorry, uh, Yugoslam 00, zero this time cam1 Okay, the parameters. Now we are saying that we are using the same params for processing the video and this is important here we are saying, okay, I want you to load the map, so you're gonna work with this map. So when I run the operation, when I run the program, you can see here that the map is already loaded, okay? And here, you, what you see here is the, the right camera. I'm gonna press S, okay. And what we see here is that at this point, the, the green dots are those that have been detected in, the, in this video sequence. The map is not being created from scratch, instead, now we are running on the map that we created with the previous video. Look here, the blue elements are the key frames. You can read more about, you can read uh, about this uh, in the documentation. The red element here is what is called the current key frame. And the green element, sorry, and the, and the um, orange uh, element is the current position of the camera. If you see, the camera is slightly placed at the right, okay? Uh, so it means that it, uh, this is a camera, it's the right camera, it's slightly displaced to the right. 
but this is working with the map we created before. So I'm going to let this run. I'm going to press S. Okay. And so far, the system doesn't need to include any other information because with the information that it has, it's enough for a good tracking. And we are running quite fast here, okay? When we get to this point, the system detects automatically that it needs to create more points and to update the map to keep it working, okay? So it will continue the processing until the end of the video. Okay, I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna press escape again. Now, if we go again, the wall, the firewall.map is now an updated version of the uh, of the map, okay? We have created so far. Uh, for visualization of the map, we can use the program Yugoslam Map Viewer. Okay, this application will only show you the map so you can visualize it and take it a look. Okay, okay, that's all.